Good morning, America. Uh, I just want to give you guys a quick update. As you can see, I'm on the highway. I'm just about two hours outside of the city that I'm going to, because now is the time I can't tell you where it is that I am. And I'll probably be living there mm, for a little while, um, probably more than a week. It's closer to um, the hotspot, so it's not really like this is a 13 hour drive for me. All right, so I'm just outside of there. But I wanted to tell you some of the blessings that I had on the way here. Um, I, I left town, got everything all settled. Actually was able to get um, one family that's been serving in our church uh, out into Poland. Um, because there is a rule, uh, most of the time, any, any child, any man between the ages of 18 and 60 can't leave. Unless you have three children. If you have three children, then you're allowed um, to cross the border. All right, so this family, it's a husband, a wife, and three children, right? And he was able to find work in Poland. Um, so the nice thing is um, we can get them across the border to, for free. We can get them from the other side of the border to a refugee camp for free. But from there to wherever it is they're going to go to start their new life or to uh, hunker down for a while, right? That's on them. There's not a lot we can do. Uh, this family didn't really have the resources, right? So we were able to, you were able to provide a way for them, about $300, not a lot, uh, for them to get from Romania into Poland, uh, to get settled and to get him into a new work so they can kind of start a new life there, which would be very, very, very good for this particular family. So thank you very, very much for that. That's one. Um, two, I am loving my new car, right? Um, my new car, my 2008 uh, 200,000 mile new car, but she's new uh, as you can uh, you can't really see behind me But she is packed up with all the stuff hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, of Tourniquets of bags of ponchos of medication like over four liters of, of insulin and uh, levothyroxine and amoxicillin and agmuntin and other drugs um, some muscle relaxers, some pain, um, just lots of things they've been able to get from local pharmacies, right? So packed in here, and she handles it great. She still rides well. I can actually drive over 50 miles an hour, which is a big plus. Last night it was raining pretty bad as well, right? And I wasn't worried about sliding off the road or hitting a pothole, especially on um, the one of the jokes. If you ever get to Ukraine, you, you'll, you'll understand um, the roads. And as you can see behind me, the highway is awesome, but the normal roads, not so much. All right, so having a four-wheel driver, having a Jeep, they call them, uh, sitting off the ground is much better. So I'm very, very grateful for that. Um, along that blessing, a um, this car was uh, a cost to me. I um, did not take money from the money that the church gave to us um, to be able to help Ukraine. I took money from myself because I believed it to be a need. Um, and uh, that was a sincere blessing because um, an NGO, a non-government organization with no religious affiliations whatsoever, right, had been keeping track of me for the last month and a half about what's going on here. And they've called me on uh, a couple of occasions asking for some advice on how to do this, how to do this, uh, is this legitimate, is this not legitimate, um, how are you getting things done, and so on and so forth. It's just been nice to, to connect with them. Well, again, this NGO, uh, after following me for a little while, uh, called me up yesterday and said, hey, listen, um, we heard that you got your car and that there was some that you had paid for it out of your own pocket. Uh, we would like to reimburse you for that. How do you like that? Uh, I don't... I didn't really know what to sew. I basically was praying in my car and, and crying and just thinking, and I'm going to start doing it now. Right? That, you know, you just do what's right. And, and you have a reason. Like, I, I, I worried about it. Like, why should I be spending um, this money? I, I don't know for how long I'm going to be here. Is it going to be a month? Is it going to be two months? Um, I d have already made preparations for um, a place to park the car. So when I am in the States, it's here, it's safe. Uh, there are some people that I've given here. You can't just get in a car and drive. You have to get something called a devayer. It's like a power of returning. And, um, I've already gotten power of returning for a couple people to be able to drive it. There is a actual, uh, parking lot, um, in a church in Poland 
that is willing to house and look after my car so I don't have to have the guys do the drive up to the border, wait for me for four hours, then I walk across and drive back again, get stuff. And like, that was just a horrible time, spending an entire day having one guy wait on one side for uh, six hours and another guy wait on the other side for four hours just so I can go back and forth with stuff. That's annoying, right? Especially right now because there's no flights into Ukraine. To be able to drive into another country and get to the airport so you can leave is a big bonus. So now uh, that I have my own car, I can drive across, I can leave it at the church parking lot, right? They will watch my car, I can hop on a plane, head back to New York, do what it is I have to do in New York, leave New York, um, come back in, into Poland, get in my car and then drive back to where I need to go. That is a huge, huge blessing, right? But besides that, the fact that this non-religious affiliated um, company is willing to pick up the other cost of my car. So that's huge. Also, one la one thing last night to kind of give you an idea, uh, idea of mentality. Um, I was at some of the block posts, checkpoints. I was at some of the checkpoints and I, I felt bad um, that um, it was raining and, and some of the guys out there were not having um, rain gear. Right, and I was pulled over by the police, not actually the military, right? Uh, because they're both at the same checkpoint. And the policeman and I, we started talking about this and about this, and what am I carrying? I have to get out and open all the boxes and show them what it is I've got. And after doing that, um, I asked him, "Hey, listen, there's guys sitting there without any ponchos on. Why don't they have ponchos? I have some, right? Can I give them to them?" Now, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, "Do I want to give it to the guys that are nowhere near a war zone?" Right, that are just standing at these checkpoints, right? Or do I want to save them all for um, where I'm going down to where the war zone is? I right? have to be able to give them to them. Now, obviously, I want to keep them for the war zone, but I felt bad for these two guys. So I, I asked the policeman, what, is, what does he think? Right? And he just laughed. He goes, Don't give it to them. Right? They were given money to stay in here and they didn't spend it on that. They spent it on something else. They should stay down here and get cold. He goes, I bought my own poncho, I bought my own. Uh, armored vest, right? And I spent extra money to get the good quality one because it's my life. He goes, they were just stupid. Don't spend any money on them, right? Take it down to the soldiers who really do need it. How's that for Ukrainian mentality? Anyway, I just wanted to give you the heads up that that was a really nice blessing uh, to be able to talk to that policeman and get his idea of what's supposed to happen. And I didn't know that each of the guys were given a stipend to be able to get the stuff that they need. And some of them didn't spend it on stuff that they need. Um, the car obviously is a huge blessing. Um, somebody actually paying for this car is an enormous blessing, right? And I'm two hours outside of where it is that I'm going. I will give you an update when I get there and tell you what's going on. Um, don't forget, um, this weekend is Easter in Ukraine, right? So I'll probably be celebrating Easter with one of my churches, um, and having a blessing with them and then get back on it on Monday, right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for your blessings, for your prayers. Please, please, please keep those prayers coming. I greatly appreciate it. Bye.